Here's the C2 I selected for my celebrity pick. Still haven't met the driver yet, but I'm glad it's the second day and he was able to get his award and was able to park in the like the little winner's lot right here in the middle of the lot. He doesn't have to park way up in the back anymore. He's right here in the middle of the action. But I still haven't found him yet. I want to find him and at least shake his hand. It was, I mean, it's got a little bit of nicks on it, but it's just lightly repaired and proved that this is a car that's just driven when he, whenever he wants to drive it, he drives it. And that counts a lot to me. I finally found Austin. May I shake your hand for the yeah. video? Thank you so much. This is a wonderful, this is a wonderful C2. And I know I said it before, but when I saw it out there, contrasted against everything, and saw what is going to be just a daily runner, and like this deserves it. This deserves my pick. And is, am I right to say that this was the first year for the big block? Yeah, first year big block. The 65 was also the first year. And I didn't know this because Austin just said it, that this is the first year also for disc brakes when uh, GM thought, well, if we're going to give it an engine this big, yeah. maybe they should stop. Yeah. <laughs> Single piston? Four piston. Oh, really? I did not know that. 50 years ago, four piston calipers. Other things I'm learning about the C C2, even though it has the new engine and it has four piston calipers in the front, they still only gave it a single master cylinder, just like my Falcon. I clarify, uh, Austin corrected me. You could get a dual master cylinder, but that was an option. So whoever originally ordered this car in its current configuration was kind of eh on braking. <laughs>